welcome to another episode of CJ Discovery. Today we are going to do something that is actually going to take several steps to do over the course of the next couple days. I found this kit by Wonderology. It is a make your own geode kit. Um, it was right around $9.99. I found it at Target. I opened it up previously to get the instructions out of it just because I figured it was going to take some time and so I wanted to see how long it was going to take. We are going to do the first step right now and then it has to sit overnight. I will likely be back with you tomorrow by myself to do the next step and then when he gets home we will go from there and um, do the following steps. So it will actually take a couple days to do it. Looks like all in all you're looking at around 48 hours um, doing a little bit at a time but there's only, I think it was four different steps or something like that. So, um, I did not really get into the box a whole lot. I actually really like the box. It's a cute little packaging. These pop up. Ugh, and opens up. But I did not look and see what's really in here. <laughs> I'm going to throw it all over to you. It's hard to get out though. That's why I said couldn't hit. comes with this bag that has these three little rock things in it. They are fake rocks. They feel kind of plasticky. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't feel like a rock at all. You want to feel it? It also comes with this little bag that is ammonium dihydrogen phosphate and a little bottle of red dye. It does say you can use food coloring to make other colors if you wish, which we will probably do. It also says besides that you're going to need glue, a tablespoon, and you need some sort of container to mix the stuff up in. Um, it suggests a glass jar. It says if you're using plastic container, you cannot use it for anything else afterwards and you're going to have to throw it away. So, um, and then if you're doing multiple colors, you're going to actually need multiple glass jars to split the stuff into. I don't think you can hear the ocean in that. I'm just saying. For our first step, what we're going to do is coat the inside of this with glue and then we have to sprinkle some of this powder on the inside and let it all dry. Um, he cannot stick it on his nose after we do that. So that is the first step and then it's supposed to sit overnight until it's completely dry. It suggests using a paintbrush to spread the glue around, so I am going to spread this on here and he can spread it around with the paintbrush. And it says you should do it fairly evenly. Fill this with glue. Maybe. I don't know how much to put in there. You need to spread it all around. Try not to get it up all around there, but all in the gray part, basically. Spread it around. I am going to use fancy finger work. The instructions say to make it as evenly as possible when you're coating it. So try to make sure it's evenly spread and it's not all settled in the bottom. All right, now it says before that dries, you are supposed to put two tablespoons of this powder in here and then swish it around to make it coat it, kind of like you're doing with glitter. And then anything that's extra, you're supposed to tap back off into the bag. Um, we're going to attempt to do that. I actually only have a teaspoon, so we're going to kind of fudge it. Who in a hurry today? It is beautiful out, and we want to get outside in the beautiful weather. Okay, so this was actually sealed in like three bags here, so such is good. We're going to carefully try to open this so that it doesn't spill everywhere. You're not going to use all of this the first time. Two tablespoons seems like an awful lot for these things. Okay, so I've been saying it wrong. I was right. You're actually... I actually have the right size thing. You're supposed to have a teaspoon. I don't know why I thought it said tablespoons. That's what happens when you're in a hurry and don't do what you're supposed to do. Okay, we have our shells started here. We are going to let these sit overnight. We will be back again tomorrow to do the next step of the project. Cheers. <laughs> so while Josh is out today, I decided that I was going to do this part. Um, you are supposed to take two cups of hot water. It does not say boiling, so, you know, I'm not sure how hot it has to be, but I, I've made it pretty hot. I don't know if you can actually see the steam coming up. And you have to have a glass jar that can hold the two cups. Now, this one holds exactly two cups when it's filled up. I actually have 
a total of three jars because we're going to do different colors. You can do them all the same color if you want to. Um, if you do, the jar probably needs to be bigger because you have to set the geode down inside this once it completely cools. So, you know, by the time I spread this into the three jars, it'll be fine, but you're going to need a bigger jar than two cups if you're going to put the geo all three geodes down inside. So what we're going to do is pour the hot water into here and then we're going to mix the rest of the ammonium dihydrogen phosphate into here until it's completely dissolved. After that we're supposed to leave it until it completely cools and then we're going to put our geodes inside of it. Okay, here we are. The stuff has completely cooled. These are our geodes after they have completely dried, mm -hmm. or the preceded ones anyway. And Joshua here is going to put one of each of these into each color. Just set it down into there. It's okay, you can drop it a little bit. It's not going to break, it's plastic. Is it fit? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. Go ahead and drop it. It's plastic. It's not going to... Okay, and so but I'll take care of you submerging are. this one. There we go. Okay, so we are supposed to let these sit for 12 to 15 hours and let them grow. So we're going to find a place out of the way and let them sit. And we'll be back tomorrow to show you what's happened. Okay, so it's been overnight. It's actually been longer than they recommended, and I'm going to get ready to pull these out, and we need to put them on a paper towel to dry. I'm not overly loving how these look to me. It almost looks to me like we just dyed what was already in there. I don't see anything growing. The red one. The red one is actually pink. Yeah, you get the green out. That's what the red one looks like. The blue. Looks like the green one doesn't want to come out. Yeah, see, these look to me like we just colored the stuff that was already in there. I don't see anything having grown in there. Me either. We're going to leave them sit to dry. I'm actually going to turn them upside down. And we are going to leave them sitting to dry. What's left here says we can dump it down the drain, but we are supposed to rinse the sink out really good when we do. So we're going to do that. These are going to sit here and dry, and when they're completely dry, we'll be back with you to give you our final thoughts and show you the final results. Our geodes are dry. I am not overly impressed. I'm going to bring them in and show them to you so you can see them. Okay, so this is our blue one. And then here is our green. And finally our supposed to be red that is not red, it looks pink. I do want to point out that they are very sparkly. I don't know how good that's going to come across on camera. They weren't sparkly like that to begin with. Ooh, that one shows pretty good. They really weren't that sparkly to begin with. The problem with these is I don't feel like anything really grew overnight. It just pretty much seems what we had in there be to begin with. They did become very sparkly and there are maybe a light little bit of crystals, but I don't know. Anyway, it, I kind of guess I thought that it would fill it more like a regular geode does. The other thing is I don't know if I just didn't add enough color. Uh, it said when you split it you should do six to seven drops um, and 
Maybe I needed to add more coloring. This is the coloring that they provided and I actually put around 10 drops in it and it dyed the outside but the actual geode is not that dyed. I don't know if I did something wrong. Maybe the water was too hot. Maybe it wasn't hot enough. Maybe I didn't stir it enough. Maybe when I split them into three containers I didn't do it right. I have no idea. But um, Or maybe this is exactly what they're supposed to look like and I expect it too much. Pretty shiny. They're pretty shiny. 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 <laughs> I do want to mention that the instructions are pretty clear about the chemical in this. So they do say that you should wash your hand if you get it on it. Um, you're not supposed to put it in the plastic container. It is a little more severe in its warning than a lot of the other contain than a lot of the other kits that we have done. It does say that it is for eight plus um, and like I said, you weren't. If you didn't use a glass jar, you were supposed to throw it away. Not use it for anything else other than this. So definitely, this is not like little kid friendly. Um, but with an older child that can be monitored, it worked out fine. I would love to see if anybody else has tried this kit. It is by Wonderology. It says you can grow your own three geodes. We bought it at Target. Um, it, it was fun to do. I would have liked to have seen a little better results, but they're still kind of cool. What do you think of our little geodes? Actually, I was kind of surprised because when we got on camera, it looked like the geode grew a little. Well, the blue geode grew. Like after it sat drying? Yeah. Yeah, I guess as it dried out, it looked a little better than when we initially pulled it out of the water. I think some of that moisture came out of it and it looks a little more crystally rather than um yeah because i can uh, see like crystals yep a little thank you for joining us on this episode of cj discovery please click that like button if you enjoyed it also click subscribe we are doing these every saturday and we love doing them please leave a comment below if you have anything to say let us know if you have any opinions if you've seen any kits that you would like us to do or if you've done these yourselves and how they've turned out for you thanks for joining us bye bye okay for our first step all we are going to do is take glue and spread it on the inside my dog is breathing on me <laughs> says that you should use a glass jar if you're using a plastic jar. <laughs> <laughs> he just stopped and froze and stared at me. Are you talking to me? The problem I have is I don't think these really group. Again. Every time. <laughs>